Hi, it's me, Nez. So we're continuing on with the Redeemed Bride series. I hope you guys aren't <laughs> bored or anything. You know, I know some people might leave, maybe unfollow or unsubscribe, but that's okay because I'm not doing this for subscribers. I am led to share all these things because these are ways that the Lord is making himself known. And that's what matters. If a soul is one, then glory be to God. All right, here we go. My rescuer. My world was shipwrecked, falling apart from the inside out. Life seemed like a tornado and I was trapped inside, being tossed round and round to finally be spit out. But where would I land? That was what I was afraid of. With all the hustle and bustle each day, I was going nowhere. To find my way with the road map was impossible because I had no vision. I was blind. I felt the darkness shackle my limbs. Sin was written all over me and its weight was heavy, pulling me down under water. I was suffocating, drowning in shame and condemnation. A sinking thought gripped me. I am going to hell. My heart ached in pain as if oxygen left me. Broken hearted, I had an emptiness that nothing on earth could fill. An insatiable black hole that caused me to self-destruct. Reality slapped me in the face, screaming, you need help. I wondered, who can save me? It seemed like I was lost and nowhere to be found. That if I was to shout for help, no one would hear a sound. Suddenly, out of my despair came a gusty wind of change that blew my mind of hopelessness away. A gentle voice spoke into my ear saying, I am Jesus and I will save you. But do you trust me? He was the only one who found me in my sad plight and offered a solution. So with a leap of faith, I replied, yes, I trust you. Instantaneously, I washed up on the seashore with the shackles that had bound me tightly, broken to pieces around me. I was free. The Liberty Bell rang loudly in my ears, proclaiming a new beginning. I was given a fresh start in a lifelong journey. Feeling light as a feather, I was uplifted in rapturous joy that I never experienced before. Overwhelmed with peace and gratitude, I fell on my knees to worship my Savior. Never did the work on Calvary seem so personal until now. His love for me is amazingly deeper than any ocean, and he reached down to rescue me. No longer blind, I saw the light of the word of God. It shone brightly like a lighthouse, beckoning to sailors lost at sea to come safely to shore. Out of the dark storm of death into new life. I was born again, but this baby had to grow. Sucking milk from the breast of his word, I had to feed until I devoured meat and chewed bone. I hungered and thirsted for more of God, and he drew me closer and closer, so close I could hear his heartbeat. That same heart bled for me as he hung on the cross, and he mouthed the words, Will you marry me? Gazing into my eyes with love, he proposed as he died. He resurrected and waited for my reply. I accepted when I believed in his sacrifice of love for me. Intimately, he tells me his mind for my life with him. 
He calls me to obedience when he commands me to build. Wisely, I consult the Bible, the instruction manual of the master builder. I learn that for my house to stand, I must build on a firm foundation, a solid rock that withstands the storms of trials and tribulations. The chief cornerstone is Christ, who holds up everything. Apart from his shores foundation, all else is sinking sand. As I build, I remember to count the cost. I cannot start with Jesus and stop along the way or look back. I am in a marathon race, and the only way to finish to the finish line is to pace myself through obedience to his every word. As my coach, the Holy Spirit runs along beside, steering me in the right direction in life. Like an athlete, I discipline my body, subduing my fleshly desires and training my spirit by meditation on the breath of his word. I must win this race and obtain the victor's crown at all costs. The brutal truth is time waits for no man. Tick tock goes the clock and it won't stop until the end of time. The author of time sends a clarion call to one and all to put their trust in him that knows their tomorrow. My heavenly king came down from his throne just to extend his hand towards you, asking that you have a dance at life with him. What do you say? Are you ready to step into his everlasting arms with complete surrender and total abandon? If you say yes, he will never leave you or forsake you. Even when you stumble, he will be there to catch you when you fall. He loves you so much and eagerly awaits your response. It's up to you. You decide. But as for me, I have never regretted my choice to love the man who saved me.